Hello our most valued student, my name is Confident, welcome to our 24 minute lesson. This is a short lesson or a short revision where I thought of bringing you some a common error which I want you to avoid whenever you're dealing with exponents. So this is just a short lesson and I want you to just check this. Now it says uh, solve for x and there are a few things that I want you to avoid whenever no matter how tempting it is, but just avoid this uh, when solving. Now, most, um, not most, but I found this in students whereby they want to solve. So what they do is they are given this question, 3 times 2 to the exponent x is equal to 6. So what they do, they multiply 3 times 2, the 3 times 2 there to get the 6. So what they will do is they will say 3 times 2 is 6 exponent x is equal to 6 now they know that that is power 1 and then they therefore the bases are the same if the bases are the same then they use the law which says a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n if the base is the same therefore also the exponents m is equal to n so they also say x in here therefore x is equal to 1 that is how they will solve that but now the wrong thing to do is that part of multiplying that. Now, how do you solve this? The way to solve that is you are given 3 dot 2 to the exponent x is equal to 6. Now, the first thing to do is to, since there is a multiplication, that 3, the power x is not affecting that particular 3. Always remember the power x is only affecting 2 so you need to divide by that 3 because the 3 is not affected and when you do that what you'll have is you'll have 2 to the exponent x now 6 divided by 3 you get a 2 so it is equal to 2 to the exponent 1 therefore you use this law also which says if the bases are the same so you also equate the exponents therefore x is equal to 1 here you say therefore x is equal to 1 i know some of you are asking but the answer here is the same answer there but remember a wrong method to i mean a wrong method leading to a right answer does not make the answer correct so even if you test to the calculator the x is equal to 1 will be correct because where there is x, if I put a 1, 3 times 2 to the exponent 1, I'm getting a 6. Now, if this method was correct, just look on the other side here. That's why I brought two problems. What happens if you maintain the same thing? So let's look at this question on the other hand, which says 3 times 2 to the power of x is equal to 8 to 1. If you continue with the multiplication of that, you'll have 6. 3 times 2, 6 to the power of x is equal to 81 and 81 there uh, 81 there you will have uh, that is like that is equal to 81 so you see now what you have in this particular case um, is to try now to express um, this particular question in the sense to say uh, 6 to the power of x is equal to uh, 3 to the power 81 in terms of 6 I think this question can be actually given like that let me just correct it because this question is supposed to be let's say you are having 3 dot 2 to the exponent x is equal to 36 I think this will be much better then 3 times 2 6 to the exponent x, you see that, is equal to, now, in this case, yes, uh, 36 will be 6 squared. Now, if you continue with that, you've got the same base, therefore, x, the top, will be equal to that, is equal to 2. Now, if you test your answer now, where there is x, you put the 2 here. So it will be 3 times 2 to the exponent 2. I want to get a 36 there. If you say equal to, 
you see that now it's giving me a 12 it's not giving me a 36 showing you that this method is not correct so always try to avoid that method because at the end of the day if you use that method it is not going to give the answer so if you follow the same method I did the correct method or the procedure what you do as I said you divide by 3 you divide by 3 so that you have cancelled there you have 2 to the exponent x is equal to now if you say 81 divided by 3 it gives you 27 so unfortunately I think you can't solve much what I wanted to do because of 27 um, I have to limit it like that so that I don't get it uh, further confused but this is what I would have uh, encouraged you to solve maybe I can change this question to be like this also to say if I had 3 dot 3 to the exponent x is equal to 81 divide by 3 divide by 3 you saw that this was 3 to the exponent x it was 27 then you can continue to say 3 to the exponent x is equal to now 27 if you take a calculator you'll discover that it is 3 cubed is 27 so that you can match the bases so when the bases are the same therefore here you have got x is equal to 3 now you can test your answer in this case here where there is x you put a 3 such that remember it's no longer a 2 now it's a 3 which is 3 times 3 the answer is 3 where there is x which is to the power of 3 now if you do that equal to you can see that 81 does come out so this is something that I wanted to bring to you to say avoid the error of multiplying this so that it becomes a 6 that method will be wrong you need to first instead to divide by 3 in that case. I hope this was of benefit to you. Thank you.